the Upright Cocktail Lounge inside Oak and Real wants you to enjoy an evening immersed in a mystique of a bygone era, where dim lighting, haunting melodies, and period-inspired cocktails set the stage for a thrilling <laughs> adventure into Detroit's past. And we're talking about the Prohibition era. And here to tell us more about the, their upcoming event is bartender at the Upright, Rebecca Hunter. Rebecca, thank you for being with us. Hi, <laughs> this is so exciting for me. We're so happy to have you here. So, first of all, what can guests expect when they come uh, to experience Prohibition Cocktail yeah, uh, so, event um, this weekend? At the Upright, we are currently doing our vinyl series. Um, think of a record collection. Every couple months we pull out a new record and it'll be a different genre of music. Cocktails reflect that genre and we have events that coincide with each genre. So coming up for our jazz series is a prohibition event. Um, we will have a flight of different cocktails, talk about how they were incorporated in Detroit's kind of spooky history. It'll go along with um, a little bit of Halloween and a little as prohibition well. because yeah, it's all you know got a lot of mystery surrounding so. all of it. So that's really cool. So kind of match the cocktails to the musical genre. Yes. Now speaking of cocktails, you brought in the ingredients for um, a very popular cocktail that was created right before the start of Prohibition, right? Tell us more about this. So I actually am making today a really part of my reach, a really special cocktail that was made at the Detroit Athletic Club right before Prohibition. Oof. Um, it is called the Last Word Cocktail. So it's made with a little bit of uh, green chartreuse, which in 10 years, this will be almost absolutely impossible to find. So you're really in for a treat really? tonight. Really? Wow. Why would it be impossible to find? What's there's happening? There's such high demand, and the French monks that make it um, don't want to increase their volume. So it's very, very, very special. That's interesting. Product. That's um, really interesting. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Rebecca's going to get back to her, um, her bar and be like, what happened to the chartreuse? Oh, Jason Magic put it in his coat. You okay, can so buy it on eBay. I'll have it for dry sale. Gin. Yeah. Yeah. Some dry gin. gin. And then we have some uh, maraschino cherry liqueur, Luxardo liqueur. I didn't know it had a liqueur. Did you? I really, really, unless it has a pull tab, I probably <laughs> no, haven't drank okay. it. It's really special, <laughs> and um, speaking of liqueurs, our past event when we were doing our disco genre, disco series, we did a build your own Amaro class. Amaro is just like a bittersweet herbal liqueur. So we do a lot of events at like the fun. Upright. It's really fun, and... Um, so you kind of get the story behind the cocktails, and it's something like interactive to do. It could be like a girls' night out, a date night. Exactly. We do um, a lot of uh, bachelorette parties or birthday parties. People rent the space. You can definitely check us out at oakandreal.com mm -hmm. um, if anyone's interested in oh, yeah. the space for a private party. Okay. What other what other cocktails will you be featuring in addition to this? Are there yeah. other ones? Those are those will be a surprise. Okay. It will, they will all be a Detroit. <laughs> Base that will have a spooky story, and I guess the only way to find out is if you come and check it out. All right. You can you can see on um, talk. That's how you find the okay. tickets for as well. That's awesome. That's called marketing, people. That is, that's <laughs> marketing. Is. So go ahead, shake that. Ready to try? Get it. Yeah. I feel like when you when a bartender shakes it, it tastes better. There's something <laughs> about the, the flick of the wrist. So really quickly though, should guests be dressed to impress when they come out? Definitely encouraged, not required. Okay. Um, I like to say all of our events are more inspired by, okay. not so much themed, but definitely I would love to see some guests in some old school flapper outfits. And how, how, can, uh, how can people get tickets, people that want to go to the event? They can visit us at oakenreal.com, and then there is a link to the talk. And the it talk. I got takes it. place... This weekend. Uh, this right? weekend. Yes. yes. Yep. October 27th on Sunday. So there's two different seatings for that. We'll have small bites, food, music, and then a flight of different cocktails. And we'll talk about the cocktails and some spooky stories. That sounds like fun. Thank Here you, Rebecca. The last word. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks so much. Thank